Hey, it's Patsy White with another five minute ministry to motivate your month. Today I'm going to talk about money, but I'm going to talk about how it really isn't about the money. Now don't tune me out because you actually may feel like it is about the money, but I want to share a brief testimony and then I want to talk about um, who God is in the realm of this physical world when it comes to money. So this may be longer than five minutes, so bear with me. Uh, many years ago, um, I relocated for a job to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, the place where I worked had a number of issues and one ended up in a lawsuit and um, I was accused of leaking information regarding some details of that lawsuit that I did not leak. I was um, basically dismissed. Um, my keys were taken from me. I was on the front porch. I mean, it was like a whole security issue. I was innocent. I had nothing to do with it. But what ended up happening is um, being new to the area. I didn't have a lot of folks that I knew. In, in fact, I was very unknown in that area. It was a city. And um, so I went into a very dark period. Um, it was hard for me to get work. There were so many things going on. And I eventually, of course, ran out of money and um, ended up losing the, I was renting a condo for a very cheap price, but I just basically had no place to live. Thank God somebody let me crash at their place. And then I went and moved into a very, very small house. It was a tiny house. I thank God for the connection that got me there. I thank God for the landlord who let me in with, you know, a very poor rental history at that point. And um, I think I was paying $300 a month for this little house that looked like a house that belonged on a Monopoly board. And um, that was my first introduction to cockroaches. I didn't, I didn't grow up with them. I grew up in a cold climate. They just weren't around. So um, I was actually moving into the cockroaches house. So that was an interesting experience. The point that I want to make is that my fear of the worst case scenario, losing my places to live, not having a place to live, fear that my car would be repossessed. And they tried actually, I moved so many times they couldn't find out where I lived to repossess my car. But what I want to talk about right there is that my relationship with God became so close because he was the only, the only person I could rely on. There were days when I did not have food to eat. And I worked at this place where every once in a while the manager would come through and just throw a $5 bill on my desk. That would have me eating for two days. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that fear, anxiety, worry, fret, things like that about not having enough money are really not about not having enough money. It's that the fret, fear, worry, anxiety, all that stuff is already there, but it attaches to the money. So when it attaches to the money, it feels like if we had the money, then all that anxiety, fear, worry, and all that would go away. Now, am I more comfortable with money in the bank than when I had no money in any bank account? Well, yes, I'm more comfortable, but the danger is I get more self-reliant because you know how he says in Deut Deuteronomy, the Lord says, you know, Moses was saying for the Lord that you will say once you have your, you know, your, your wine presses busting forth with new wine and your flocks are, are profitable grapes on that. You'll say it is my hand that has gotten me wealth. Well, I want to point out to you that even if you are really on the brink of just not sure if you're going to make it, no money, no, I'm um, not sure about if you have a place to live, maybe you're crashing on somebody's couch, that your peace is the most important asset and revenue that you can have. When you have peace with God, you can go through anything. Because what happened during that period of time while I was going through um, just amazing financial hardship, God and I were so incredibly close at that time. And when I started getting a job and God increased me, I got a job. It was like $5 an hour. I got, you know, a raise within two months at $7 an hour. This is in the early 90s. Then I got a raise to like $425 a week. It was like God was exponentially multiplying me to show me that if I trust him, 
that all my needs would be met. So what I want to say just to close for today, because I may say something more about money uh, tomorrow, is that if you are fixed on money as the solution to your problem, you will be in bondage because the money will not stop the fear. The fear is something that you have to cast out. We have to cast that out. It's a spirit of fear. Because even if you get the money a little more straight, I promise you, the spirit of fear will attach to something else. It's like if you've ever had the experience of having no money and then you, 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 you say, God, if I just had this amount of money, I'd have peace. And as soon as that amount of money comes, it's not enough. It's because money is not the issue. It's a relationship with God, trusting him to be your provider and source. You know, um, uh, Proverbs says, you know, money takes wings and fly. Paul said, I know how to abound and how to be abased. I know how to prosper with or without money. And that is the key thing, because once you can trust God with money, God can increase you with that money because that money is no longer your God. It is a tool that God uses for you to bless others while you take care of yourself. So that's all I'm going to say for today. There'll probably be more tomorrow, God, God, but God bless you. Lean on the Lord. Uh, Matthew 6 and 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. So if you're worrying about money right now, then say, Lord, I am worrying about money. You can pray. I'm very worried about money. In fact, I am downright terrified. But your word says you have not given me the spirit of fear. Your word says I seek you first. So God, I'm trusting you to make a way for me. I'm trusting you for increase. I'm trusting you to be able to see my path clear to prosperity. And thank you for it. And whatever prayer comes, don't pray your worry. Pray your triumph. Pray your victory. Pray the scripture and pray God's promises on what he says you can have. I hope this blessed you. And thank you so much for listening. God bless you.